So, I had to take my mother to the hospital, you see. So, I'm coming out of casualty with my mother, and I was holding my mother's hand. Because she's older than me, my mum, you know, and, um, so, <laughs> and uh, I come out and I was just looked in a cubicle like that and there was a lad there I went to school with. I haven't seen him for years. I said, Arthur, how are you doing? Oh, I'm not very well, John. I said, why? He said, well, they've just told me I've got the worst case of piles that they've ever seen. I said, Arthur, that must be uncomfortable. I said, is that why you're sat on a beanbag? He said, I am not sat on a beanbag. <laughs> Oh, no. It's lovely. The old ladies are got, I mean, staggering me, that good. And uh, the older I'm getting, the more I like women. I can't understand that either. And, uh, <laughs> I think I might be a lesbian trapped in a man's body, me. And, uh... <laughs> no, but I've never had any success with women. If I showed castanets on my pants, I still wouldn't click, me. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've, not, I've only been out with a tall girl once and I had to jack it in. <laughs> The thing is right, ladies and germaline, what I've, I've... <laughs> it comes from your child. I blame my mother, you know, for this lack of success. Because when I was growing up, every time I took a girl home, my mother didn't like them. She never liked one girl I took home. Not one. So I was in the club one night, and I saw this girl, she looked just like my mother, only a lot younger. So I took her home, and my dad didn't like her. <laughs> Now, the difference is it like my wife, or as she knows in our house, can't cook, won't cook. And, uh, <laughs> come in the other night, there's a sign on the table. Gone to a car boot sale, your salad is in the garden. <laughs> Modern ladies, they don't care, do they? So I, I, go, I was going to work the other night, I shouted out, Good night, mother of three. She said, Good night, father of two. Come in like that. <laughs> I think she'd divorce me if she could find a way of doing it without making me happy. And, uh, <laughs> I think she'd lost respect, and that's a big thing. She'd because she calls me thick in front of all the pals, you know. She said, "Oh, he's thick. I won't speak to him." So I've stuck it for months, you know, because I'm Taurus and slow to burn. And uh, <laughs> I flipped last week. I said, "Right, thick, me thick." She went to Benidorm for a week's holiday, and she took fifty condoms, and she hasn't even got a willy. <laughs> Oh, I can't begin to tell you what a thrill it is to be back in Yorkshire here, because I've, I've been doing a lot of work over the last few years down south, like missionary work, you know. And, uh, <laughs> now, I love the ordinary people down there, you know, the, the cockneys, I like them. And, uh, <laughs> but same as up here, I always get a feeling when I work to really snooty people, that when they find out I'm from the north, they talk to me as though my head buttons up the back, right, and... Um, <laughs> I was in this golf club in Surrey, and this fella said, Was you born up the north? I said, Yes. He said, Why? <laughs> Why would anybody want to be born up there? I said, Well, I wanted to be near my mother. I, I, <laughs> I can add lib a bit like that, you know. And, uh, <laughs> Sportsman's dinner. Guess who the book for the main attraction? Jimmy Hill, eh? <laughs> More entertainment on a kipper's nipple. I'm not getting it. <laughs> Jimmy Hill. I sat next to him all night and I realised there's nothing wrong with my telly. He looks like that. And, uh... <laughs> so anyway, these two fellas are fishing at the side of a lake, right? They've been sat down for an hour and a half fishing and he hadn't caught one. He's got about ooh, 55 in his keep net and this fella's nearly crying. He says to him, I've never seen anything like that. How do you catch a fish like that? What's your secret? This fella said, you got to keep your lungs long. <laughs> he went, you are. He said, you got to keep your lungs long. <laughs> he said, I can't understand the bloody word you're saying, mister. He went, <coughs> you've got to keep your worms warm. <laughs> Another kiss of fisherman. And, uh, you know, it's a marvel. It fascinates me, you know. You, may do, you do a job like this, and you stand on a stage looking out on a, on a dense crowd like we've got in here tonight. <laughs> you know, Lots of people. And um, why can't the world be like this? I mean, you know, we're, we're honest people up here. I'm a Yorkshire man born and bred and buttered. Right? And, um, 
You know, but I mean, we, we are a bit careful with money, aren't we? We've got to admit that. Eh? Careful, dear me. There's a pub I go in in Halifax, and every week they have a happy minute. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's two farmers going my local, and they're real thick heads, right? And the landlady said the other week, Do you like scampi? Oh, I said, I like all Walt Disney's films. Love it. <laughs> 